he was called one of the greatest theoretical physicists of the 20th century, showed us how the sun brings forth its light, and played a very key role in the Manhattan Project. Here are ten facts about the German-born American physicist Hans Bethe. 1. Birth and Early Life Hans Albrecht Bethe was born on July 2, 1906, in the town of Strasbourg, now within France, but at the time of his birth was a part of the German Empire. Hans was the only child of Albrecht Theodor Julius Bethe, a private docent of physiology at the University of Strasbourg, who also made significant contributions to work on the central nervous system, and his mother, Anna Kuhn, who was a gifted musician who also had some success as a literary author. The family would move a few times in Hans's younger years, with his father being offered a position in Kiel when he was about five years old, and then to Frankfurt, just four years later, in 1915. Hans would remember having long walks with his father, discussing various topics, but he recalled their discourses would mostly revert to the sciences. 2. Munich At the age of 19, Beta enrolled at the University of Munich to engage into deeper theoretical physics instruction under the renowned professor Arnold Sommerfeld, who, because of his position among physics circles, would often receive published works early and discuss among his students. Upon Beta's arrival to Munich, one of these such publications was the new wave mechanics introduced by Erwin Schrödinger in 1926. Beta, at Sommerfeld's suggestion, would base his thesis on electron diffraction of crystals, with a starting point being a paper on X-ray diffraction by a certain physicist, Paul Peter Uwold, who interestingly enough would become Hans's father-in-law decades later. Wolfgang Pauli, rarely known for his lack of harsh critiques, would say to Beta after reading his paper, After Sommerfeld's tales about you, I had expected much better from you than your thesis. Beta would later say, I guess from Pauli that was a compliment. 3. The Beta Formula In 1930, Beta wrote a paper titled The Theory of the Passage of Fast Corpuscular Rays Through Matter. From this paper would come what is known as the Beta Formula, which is a simplified formula for the energy loss of a fast-charged particle, such as an electron or proton, passing through matter. This formula provides a theoretical framework for calculating the rate at which charged particles lose energy due to interactions with atoms in a material. Beta's formula considers various physical processes involved, including ionization, excitation, and radiative losses, offering insights into the behavior of particles in matter. It has proven valuable in understanding phenomena such as the stopping power of materials for energetic particles and is widely used in the fields of particle physics and radiation science. 4. Stellar Nucleosynthesis In 1938, Hans Bethe would write a paper titled Energy Production in Stars. This paper was quite extraordinary because it provided the first comprehensive explanation of how nuclear fusion powers the sun and other stars. Beta detailed the carbon-nitrogen-oxygen, or CNO cycle, a set of nuclear reactions that release energy in stars. This work significantly advanced our understanding of astrophysics and stellar energy production. This paper would play a major role in Beta's receiving the Nobel Prize nearly 30 years after it being published. He would be nominated 56 times in about a quarter of a century before finally being awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1967. For his contributions to the theory of nuclear reactions, especially his discoveries concerning the energy production in stars. 5. The Manhattan Project During the time of the Manhattan Project in 1943, it became clear that Robert J. Oppenheimer could not be both head of the theoretical department in Los Alamos as well as oversee the entire lab himself, there was an obvious choice to run the T division, or theoretical division, and the mantle was given to Beta. Beta's initial focus was to calculate the critical mass, or the minimum amount of fissile material, of the U-235 needed for a sustained chain reaction to be maintained in an explosion. 
His later work, while at Los Alamos, was directed towards the implosion method device and also the neutron initiator, which begins the process of the nuclear fission. During his time at Los Alamos, Beta would become close friends with Richard Feynman, both having worked on calculations of explosive yields. An interesting little fact to add is that after the war, while both Beta and Feynman were living in Ithaca, New York, Feynman had babysat Beta's two children in exchange for none other than an Encyclopedia Britannica set. 6. Family Hans had first met Rose in 1928 when he was still in Germany, when Paul Peter Ewald had brought Hans to his house to meet his family. Nearly a decade later, in 1937, when Hans was lecturing at Duke University, he was then reacquainted with her, as Rose happened to be a student at Duke. Hans and Rose would marry two years later, on September 14, 1939, in Westchester County, New York. They had two children, Henry, who was born at Los Alamos in 1944, and Monica, born the following year, and eventually three grandchildren. One of Hans's grandchildren can fondly remember of Hans that he did not drink or smoke, and yet he loved chocolate, always having one or two pieces before bed. And regarding mathematics, Hans taught there were only three things you needed to memorize in math, pi, i, and e. Everything else is easier just to calculate or figure out on the spot than commit to memory. 7. Beta's Bible in the mid-1930s, Beta would publish three articles, with a combined total of about 400 pages, which were an extensive review of both theoretical and experimental nuclear physics. The first article, Nuclear Physics A, Stationary States of Nuclei, co-written with R. F. Bakker, came in 1936. The second written solely by Beta was Nuclear Physics B, Nuclear Dynamics, Theoretical, in 1937. And the third article, also in 1937 and co-written with Milton Stanley Livingston, titled Nuclear Physics C, Nuclear Dynamics, Experimental. These articles were so thorough and complete in their breadth of knowledge on nuclear physics, they became compiled into a set and became the standard and go-to textbook known to nuclear physicists as Beta's Bible. 8. The Advocate. After the war, Beta demonstrated a dual commitment to nuclear advancements and disarmament efforts. Though he was a major figure in the Manhattan Project, as the Cold War unfolded, he grew increasingly concerned about the risks of nuclear proliferation. His influence extended to key diplomatic milestones, including the advocating of the signing of the Partial Test Ban Treaty in 1963, which aimed to limit nuclear testing. Moreover, Beta was a proponent of the Strategic Arms Limitation Talks, or SALT-1 agreements, which started in 1969 and would lead to the Anti-Ballistic Missile Treaty in 1972. His legacy reflects a complex perspective where the scientific mind behind the atomic age also worked towards preventing its devastating consequences through international cooperation and arms control. Beta would also continue to be a strong voice for the peaceful use of nuclear power as a way and means to replace the use of fossil fuels. In 1977, Beta is quoted as saying of nuclear power that it is a necessity, not merely an option. 9. Astounding Productivity Over the course of his extraordinary long career, Beta would end up publishing over 300 scientific papers. In 1990, at the great age of 84, Beta wrote a paper titled Solution of the Solar Neutrino Problem, which would be referred to over 350 times. This is quite remarkable, considering theoretical physics is generally reserved for younger scientists. Beta is among the very few scientists that have published a major scientific paper in every decade of their life, and in Beta's case, this is quite a feat, considering he lived well into his 90s, nearly living throughout the entirety of the 20th century. 10. Death and Legacy Hans Beta passed away not long ago on March 6, 2005 in Ithaca, New York, at the enduring age of 98, 
leaving behind a profound legacy in the world of science. Beta had made significant contributions to the various fields, notably astrophysics and nuclear physics, his post-war efforts focused on peaceful applications of nuclear energy, and he elucidated the energy production process of the stars. Beyond his scientific achievements, Beta was admired for his humor among his colleagues and also his integrity and advocacy for arms control. His legacy endures through his scientific breakthroughs and the inspiration he provided to generations of physicists. We thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more interesting facts about our world and those within it.